Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. I am Vidyashree. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can apply for Karnataka State Eligibility Test 2023 which is conducted by Karnataka Examination Authority. As you all know, the examination is going to be held on 26th November 2023. Here in this video, I am going to give you detailed explanation on how you can apply online for KZ 2023 examination. So before starting how to apply through KEA website, you need to know what are all the documents that you should keep ready before you start applying online. So now I'll tell what are all the documents that you need to keep ready before start applying and then I shall tell you how you can apply online for KSET 2023 examination. While filling up the application form, you need to enter your RD number if you are claiming reservation under category. So you have to keep ready your RD number which is available in the caste certificate that's provided to you. Then you should have your 10th standard or SSLC, CBSC or ICSC register number. Then all of you must enter your PG marks if you have completed your post graduation. So you should be keeping ready the total marks that you have secured. as well as maximum marks that was allocated for you and percentage. If you are a PhD candidate, then you should enter your PhD subject along with the date of completion of your PhD. Then everyone must have your Aadhaar card number where you have to enter your last four digits of your Aadhaar number in the application form. Then everyone must have photo and signature scanned copy uh, maximum 100 kb should be the size of these images and both the images should be in jpeg format no other formats are allowed it's only jpeg and for photo they have given the dimension it is 45 mm height and 35 mm should be the width of the photo that you are going to upload. You should be entering your name, parents name according to the SSLC marks card. So keep ready your SSLC marks card in your hand because you also need to enter your 10th or SSLC CBSE ICSE register number. So fill up the details accordingly and make ready these documents before filling up your application form. Now let's move and see how you can apply online for KSET 2023 examination step by step. Open your web browser and type KEA and then search. So I am typing KEA home and searching. Click on KEA home. So that will take us to Karnataka Examination Authority's homepage. Click on the three lines that's present on the right hand top corner. There you click on admissions. In the last, we have Karnataka State Eligibility Test KSET 2023 under Admissions. Click on that. So this will take us to a page where we have five different links. The first link is to apply online for KSET 2023 examination. Second is detailed notification of KSET and then we have short notification, KSET syllabus as well as tentative schedule. Click on KSET 2023 online application link. Now this takes us to a page where we have submit application for the Karnataka state eligibility test and then we have upload your photo signature, generate the postal challenge, print application. So one by one we have to follow these steps. So first we have to submit application for KSET. So click on the first link, submit application for Karnataka state eligibility test. Clicking on the link brings us to another page where we have to fill in certain details. Now let us see what are the details that has to be filled. Point number one, we have KSET. So you need not change anything. So it is KSET by default itself. Keep it as such. Then second, you have to select your subject. So from the drop down menu, you can select different subjects. So 
in which subject you want to opt for KSA 2023 examination, you just click on that particular subject. Third point, have you got eligibility with the same subject before? So if it is yes, then you can type yes. If it is no, you can type no. Keep in mind that the person who has already qualified KSET examination in one of the subject cannot write the examination for the second time in the same subject. So if you wish to appear for KSET of this year, you should choose a subject such that you have not qualified KSET in that particular subject. So here you can select no. Then fourth, it is applicant's full name as in SSLC or 10th standard marks card. So here in this column, you have to enter your name. Make sure that you enter all the details in the capital letter to avoid any further confusions. Fifth, you have to enter your mother's name in the column that is provided towards the front side. Sixth point, you have to enter your father's name or your husband name. Then coming to point number seven, you have to enter gender. By default, male is selected. If you belong to other gender like female or transgender, accordingly, you have to select. Eighth point is corresponding to the reservation category. By default, this reservation category is selected as GM. You have to select your corresponding reservation category. It can be SC, ST, Category 1, Category 2, Category 2B. 3A and 3B or general merit. Accordingly, you have to select. Point number nine is date of birth. You have to enter your date of birth as in your SSLC or 10th standard marks card. So from the three columns given, in the first column, you have to select your date of birth. Second, you have to select month. And in the last box, you have to select the year in which you are born. Point number 10 is address for communication. So you have to enter your address then you have to enter your taluk then you have to select your district from this drop down menu next is to select your state from the drop down menu then enter your pin code followed by mobile number so you have to enter your 10 digit mobile number then you have to enter your email address please note that while you enter your gmail address you enter along with domain name, for example, like at gmail.com or at yahoo.com. You have to enter your email ID in a proper format. Twelfth is person with disability, yes or no, you have to select. Thirteenth is 10th standard or SSLC or CBSE or ICSE register number. So the box that's provided, you have to enter your SSLC register number. Coming to point number 14. Select your qualification. So you have to select your qualification from the drop down menu. So it is master degree from recognized universities. Point number 15 is have you passed in PG examination? So if you have already qualified your master degree, you select yes. If you are pursuing your master's degree in your first or second year, you can select no. Point number 15 A is to select basis of evaluation in your PG degree course. It is either percentage or CGPA, any one of these you have to choose and then you have to enter total marks that's obtained in all years or all the semesters of PG degree and the maximum marks that is allotted for your PG degree. So these marks details are applicable only for those who have qualified their master's degree. If you are still pursuing your master's degree, these columns will not be available for you. 16, you have to enter name of the university in which you are studying your master's degree or you have obtained your master's degree. 17, are you a PhD holder? If you have completed your PhD, then you tick on yes. If not, it is no by default. 18. Are you state or central government servant? By default, it is no. If it is, if you are an employee, you can select on yes. 19. Are you presently working? By default, it is no. If you are working for any of the institutions or any other companies, you can select on yes. 20. Have you ever been dismissed from your service? If yes, you can tick on yes. If not, by default, it is no itself. Point number 21. Enter last four digits of Aadhaar number. So here in this box, you have to enter last four digits of your Aadhaar number. 22. You have to select test centers. So click on this. You will get a drop down menu according to your subject. So from these available centers you have to select one center for your examination please 
take care and note that you can select examination center only once no change in test centers will be available later on so carefully choose your examination center after filling all these details go through this declaration that i declare that i have gone through the case at examination notification carefully and that to the best of my knowledge and belief the information furnished by me in the application form are true and correct and also there are no criminal cases or disciplinary actions pending against me i agree that if the information furnished by me is found to not to be true at any stage i will not only be disqualified from further stages of case at exam but also liable for suitable action as decided by karnataka examination authority in accordance with the rules or legal action so after filling in all the details you have to tick on this box that's appearing in front of declaration after filling in all the details and after highlighting this box in the declaration click on preview once you click on preview that will take you to application preview page where you can see all the details that you have entered go through all the details carefully and check whether you have entered any details wrongly if you have done any entries wrong you can change those by clicking on the edit if not if every details are in the proper way that as you have entered you click on the save once you save the changes that will take you to a page where they will mention that your registration is successful and you will be displayed your application number kindly note down this application number for your further references meanwhile once your registration is complete you will receive a text message from karnataka examination authority telling that your registration for case 2023 examination is successful the same message will contain your application number then you can go back to home page in the home page click on the second link upload your photo signature enter your application id and date of birth in the format date month and year then click submit now you have to upload your photo and signature choose the file and then click on photo upload follow the same procedure for signature after uploading both photo and signature click on save go back to home page and click on third link generate the postal challan enter the application id and date of birth and submit to generate postal challan this challan has two copies post office copy and candidate copy you will find the details like application id candidate's name and fee particulars click on print take print out of the challan and make payment at the computerized post office near to you After 2 to 3 working days you can download and print your case at application form I hope you will find this video helpful please like and share the video with your friends and family subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos related to case at examination thank you for watching stay connected keep learning take care bye bye